All right, I'm going to uh, show you a couple of things when we have athletes with lower back issues and we're in the weight room all the time. A lot of times it's not, it doesn't have to do with um, hamstring or posterior stuff. It has to do with hip flexors. It's all we use as athletes is hip flexors. So I've got two, three possibly, three good things that we're going to do here. All right, so I got Coach A here. The first thing that we're going to do, this is my first priority. If you do have a partner with you, this is where this is how you do it. Go ahead and lay on your stomach. If you got a partner with you, this is the best thing for a hip flexor. It's extremely painful for the athlete. There's a couple things you want to watch here. You want to try to keep that hip down. So, and you want to bend this as much as as much as his body or her body will allow. Okay. So I'm going to try to do it from the opposite side so we can get a good video of this. So I'm going to use this right here to kind of press this down, keep that hip down, and then all he, he or she is going to do is she's going to push down on my, try to push her knee down to the ground for five seconds. All it has to be is like uh, two, three pounds of pressure. Then she's going to relax, breathe in and out. Nice deep breath, and then when she relaxes, you ought to feel her, you ought to have a little bit more motion in there, and then she's going to push down again. Two, three, four, five, relax. If we do have hip flexor issues, you'll see she's, she's shaking already, and then push. One, two, three, four, and five, all right? And obviously, we would do that. Uh, three times, three sets of three, three sets of three, uh, that's our best one that we have for you. If you don't have a partner, go on and hop up, get right here, face out, we're going to do our, our knee on the wall, uh, yeah, foot on the wall, face out right here, get in the lunge position, all right, foot on the wall. So what we're going to do, we're going to get, to get her in a lunge position. We're going to put this foot way back here. Now the problem with this is we do, we got athletes that really don't know how to engage their glute. So it's very difficult for them to do that. So what she's going to do, she's going to squeeze her glute. And, and when she does, she's going to feel it fire all through here. Okay. A good thing that she can do to even tighten this any, any more is to tuck that toe. But that's all right, keep it right there. So we'll go 10 seconds, squeeze, and then she's gonna bend over, push that knee closer to the wall, and do it again. That's good. And she's gonna squeeze that glute. Well, we don't want them to lean over, okay? We want them to sit back. If it's so tight, that she's having to lean over, then we'd have to scoot that knee further away from the wall, okay? We don't want to see her bend over. All we want to see a nice vertical angle between the knee and the hip so she can engage that glute. If you stretch it too much, she won't be able to uh, squeeze that glute. And then we go obviously to the opposite side. You go three times, hold it 10 seconds apiece, really squeezing that thing. And then here's our last one here. Uh, go ahead and step in like that. Uh, left, left foot, so so they can see. All right, put it all the way around the hip. All right, now turn, face me. All right, now back knee. Your knee that's going to be on the ground is the the one that the band's around. Okay, you want to wrap this band as close to the hip joint as possible, okay? Lots of times we get, we do so much pushing and so much hip flexor stuff that we start to misalign that pelvic, um, that femur in, in that hip joint. So what we're going to do is kind of loosen that hip joint up a little bit. So get in another lunge position. Okay, go ahead and scoot out a little bit. 
Now she's going to do the exact same thing she was doing on the wall. She's going to squeeze that glute. When she does, she's going to feel it kind of fire. Same thing. She wants to sit up a little bit more. Don't overextend that chest. And she's going to squeeze. If you see them leaning over and trying to do this like that, it's not going to help very much, okay? You got, they have to stand up nice and vertical. Squeeze that glute 10 seconds and relax. And then if they can, scoot up about an inch. Now squeeze that glute and then relax. All right, let's do a bonus one. All right, turn and face the rack. All right, here's another one for you. So all you're gonna do is, you're gonna get in this position right here. Go ahead and scoop back, scoop back. All right, so all you're gonna do is straighten. You're gonna try to touch the ground. You're gonna straighten and then unlock. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Yep. Yep. So straighten. Straighten. Yep. Lock. Unlock. Lock. Unlock. Lock. Unlock. All this is is it just helps loosen up that hip joint when you have a lot of tightness. This will this can really help. Okay. So hopefully those three help. If you have a partner, do the first one. The first one's the most important and the best one for you. If you don't have a partner, stick to the wall. And then if you've got bands, then you can go to here. But I would go one, two, and then do the bands. All right?